All links and common questions related to this video will be in the video description. You can help support these video tutorials by rating the video or commenting. In this video I'll be showing you how to add subtitles to your videos using AGSub and VirtualDub. AGSub is uh, the program that lets you easily make subtitles out of the video. VirtualDub is the video editor that will combine the, the subtitles with the video and VS Filter is the plugin that allows you to use the subtitles with the video. So that's the combination of programs I'm going to be using. Okay, the first one is AGSub. Let's download AGSub. AGSub, AGSub, I don't know how you pronounce it, but Google search. Uh, click the first result, select your operating system. In this case, I'm using Windows. And I have to go to go to AMZ's pre-release uh, download site. I know it's kind of annoying, but this program doesn't have an installer. Uh, click last modified twice, and it'll order by the newest files. And the first thing you want is the executable. This is the actual program. Go ahead and right click and save target as, save as, save link as, whatever it lets you do that has save as in it. And save the file into a new folder called AGESUB or something whatever however you pronounce it and save it now this is probably the most annoying part you have to download all the DLL files in this directory any file that ends with DLL again go to right click save as and save it to that folder it should look something like this when you're done there's about 16 files in total now let's open AGESUB just double click it it's gonna open this weird interface and I'm just going to drag and drop a previously made video, the video I want to add subtitles to, into Agisub. I just drag and drop. Or you can go to Video Open. Same thing. And here you can watch the video as it plays. Here's a kitty. Uh, I'm going to add subtitles to the cat, apparently. I just picked a random video. But adding subtitles is incredibly easy. For example, let's say I want the subtitles to start at 17 seconds or something. I just, I'm just going to copy uh, this part and I'm going to paste it into the start time. If I hover over it, it says start time. And then after the kitty stops talking, I'm going to select the end time right here. I just scrolled a little bit for forward in time. And I'm going to paste it in the end time. You can listen to the audio while playing the video actually. So it's actually convenient it's really really convenient so I have the start time and end time and now I can say whatever I want the cat to say or translate uh, this is a test of subtitles Meh. and click commit and it's gonna add my subtitles to the bottom of the video I can change if you'll notice the the text is really really small I can add my own styles to the video to the text on the subtitles really easy. To do that, all I have to do is go to uh, Subtitles, Styles Manager. I'm going to create a new style setup. I'm going to call it Jimmy's Subtitles, even though I spelt my name wrong. And uh, I'm going to click New. And now I can select the exact font I want. Arial is fine, but I'm going to make it quite a bit larger. Let's make it two times as big as it was originally. It has a ton of options you can play with, including rotation. That's really cool. And I'll just go ahead and click Apply. I can set it to bold or something. Apply, OK. And now I have my default set as size 40 Arial. You can also change the style name, like Foo, for an example. And I'm, I have it in storage right now. I have to move it to current script for some reason. So I'm just going to click copy to current script. So I actually imported it into my current project. And now I click close. And now if I double click the, this is subtitles, meh, the thing I'm in right now, I can change uh, the font to the one I just created. And as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger. Okay, let's add another line of text. I'll just double click at where it says 2. There's a blank space right here. I just double click it. And now I'm going to select another area to add subtitles to. Let's add uh, at 41 seconds. 
I'm just going to control C to copy, control V to paste, and all the way up to 52 seconds. Control C to copy, control V to paste. I'm going to again add my custom uh, text, and I'm going to say this is the second subtitle that I added. And I'm going to click commit. And now I have two subtitles one at 41 seconds and one at 17 seconds. To finish adding the subtitles, you can save them by going to File, Save Subtitles As. And uh, the file extension is As. <laughs> Uh, AG sub subtitle scripts or something like that. I don't know, but you can save it in other formats too by going to export subtitles and selecting exports. It includes SSA, SRT, and .sub, which are also very very common. Now that you have your subtitles saved, let's go back to the AG sub directory, and you'll notice that you downloaded a file called uh, vsfilter.dll it was one of the files in that directory go ahead and right click copy it or control C to copy it and now go to your virtual dub directory wherever you installed virtual dub to and go to the plugins directory paste that vsfilter.dll and change the extension to dot vcf or vdf I'm sorry vdf uh, you can right click click rename and change the extension to .vdf. Now when you open virtual dub again, I'm going to open the the video of the cat. Let me go to it. And here's the kitty. I'm going to add the filter now to add the subtitles. If I scroll down, there's something called text sub now. There's some there should be something called text sub, which is the filter I just put in. Uh, go ahead and double click it or just click OK and it's going to prompt you where is your subtitle files in my case I named my subtitles big.ass so I'm just going to double click that and click OK and you can see it added the subtitles to the video now you can just go ahead and save your videos with the subtitles thanks for listening you can see a full list of my videos by going to youtube.jimmyr.com. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Anyways, thanks for listening.